With the coming of the holidays, the American cornucopia begins to fill with delightful seasonal offerings, which are gleefully snatched up for craft projects. Why? Because we just don't know how to cook them, do we? I mean, take this butternut squash. Do you know what to do with this? Do you? Oh, well, maybe you do. First, we've got to get this thing broken down into parts. So trim off the stem and then uh, using a large chef's knife, split the squash, thusly using a wooden mallet or even a rolling pin. Just tap the back of the knife until it goes all the way through to the board. It's a lot safer than uh, using arm power. Then get rid of the seeds. Just a regular tablespoon will do the trick. Scoop it out. There you go. I'm sure these have a culinary use, but I can't think of one right now. So now roll the halves over and using the same mallet method, break down into quarters. Very nice. There you have it. Now, once you've uh, done this to uh, both of your squashes, lay out the pieces on a half sheet pan. Then brush them down with two tablespoons of melted butter. No, that's not too much. Make sure you get all the little nooks and crannies. Next, the seasoning. Little white pepper. Now remember, white pepper is actually the fully ripe version of a black pepper with the skin removed. It's a little stronger, a little more pungent, but uh, don't worry, this soup can take it. It's gonna take about a teaspoon of that product. Then some salt, a full a tablespoon uh, will be used. That'll help to pull out some of the uh, moisture inside the squash while it cooks. Now into the middle of a 400 degree oven until it is nice and soft. And that is going to take about 30 to 35 minutes. Then simply use a spoon or an ice cream scoop and scrape off the flesh. Of course, you might wanna wait till they cool down just a little bit so you don't, you know, burn your fingers. Next, pour in three cups of either uh, chicken or vegetable broth. Uh, add to that four tablespoons of your favorite honey and a teaspoon of fresh minced ginger. That is going to add a, a, a nice little uh, background note to the soup. Now, bring that to a simmer and then hit it with your stick blender until it is nice and smooth. There. Then bring half a cup of heavy cream to the party, along with uh, however much salt you feel like adding, uh, perhaps a little bit more of that uh, white pepper, which is tasty. And I like to finish with just a little bit of nutmeg. And of course, I would always use a fresh nutmeg because they never go bad. Just grate that right in. We're talking eh, up to a quarter teaspoon will do. There. One more blending just to uh, combine the spices and serve in your favorite mug or bowl. You could garnish with a little bit of Parmesan cheese, but it's up to you. Hey, straw, that's a nice touch.